Oh, he's not nice. All right, well. Oh, hey! hey. Oh, he, oh, wow! Oh, he's still swinging down there. <laughs> hey, what's going on, folks? Paulie Jr. here, and welcome to Inmate Survival. This is out on Steam. Early access. It just came out a short time ago, and I got my hands on a code to play the game and share it with you here. So, big shout out to the uh, developer for sending me the code. Um, let's jump in and play and have a look at it. It is some sort of survival sandbox where you build and craft and fight. Apparently, you can build up a base on this island and you can be attacked by other inmates that are controlled by the computer. It's a single player game um, available for Windows only. There's no price there right now and it looks like the release date is sometime in 2021. That's, that's all I know. Um, let's jump in and play and have a look. Start up a new game. Yes, indeed we do, and away we go. All right, here we are. Day one of 360. It's like maybe 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's beautiful here. It's tropical paradise, um, except for all the inmates, of course. So there's not much of a backstory. Um, basically, you've been sent to this island. It's sort of like, um, you ever see the movie Escape from New York? <laughs> if not, you should. It's very good. It's from, I think it goes back to the 80s with Kurt Russell. Um, Manhattan has been turned into a, a maximum security prison. All the prisoners just get dropped off and they, they destroyed all the bridges so they can't get out. And they just have to survive there. And that's that. But at, at this, in this game, I think we can escape if we survive all 360 days, I believe. That's what it said in the Steam Store page. But there will be a link down below. You guys can check it out for yourself and read all about it. Um, apparently we're going to collect some things here. We're supposed to collect 10 resources from the ground. And the only thing I see is rocks. So I don't know. What else can we... Oh, here's something. What is that? That's a stick. It's a wood stick made of wood. What else we got? What else can we pick up off the ground? Um, there's wild animals apparently too in the game. So maybe we shouldn't go into the jungle just yet. Um, is this a jungle? Yeah, I see tropical, tropical trees. So it's a tropical jungle. <laughs> All right, we have way more than we need. 14 of the 10. Let's open up our inventory. Let's grab one more stick. I have a feeling we're going to need more wooden sticks made of wood. Wow. Yeah, these don't stack, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. So we have health, stamina, thirst, proteins, carbs, fats, vitamins, and a sickness. Looks like we can wear some gear here. Just a hat and maybe a shirt and pants eventually. <laughs> we can craft right here. We have an itempedia that tells us about the stuff so we have to do what now we opened it up craft with the craft option oh we have to make a sharpened stone all right i think we can do that under tools maybe oh yeah there it is 13 out of three rocks okay well that's easy nice and quick we can make a hammer axe etc but we're gonna we're gonna do this one one thing at a time what do i do so we're gonna put the sharpened stone down here we go close that window and now we have a sharpened stone in our hand now how do we how do we use it we have to hold i think we have to hold down the right mouse button we have to hold down the right mouse button that's a little awkward i mean i don't mind having a combat mode but i would prefer it to be a toggle it's not a toggle anyway let's um let's stab a tree shank that tree and the sticks are falling off the tree is the stone or oh, stone is um getting damaged all right is that all the sticks let's grab all the sticks the camera's a little funky kill a crab using the sharpened stone loot the meat from the crab oh crabby patties really i didn't see a crab you guys see a crab let's walk down the beach here and uh, i th see something small and crawling hey that's a crab all right all right stab him <laughs> Get him. oh we got him okay i saw some blood or something squirting we have raw meat, small one. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of uh, Stranded Deep. We have small meat and large meat. What's this over here? Just more sticks. That thing looks weird. Is it alive? No. Scrap metal, looks like. All right, what do we got to do now? Craft a campfire to cook the meat. That seems easy. We have all these rocks. I feel like we should just drop them since they don't stack. It's weird that they don't stack, but the sticks do. All right. Craft a campfire. Let's go to the crafting menu. I would imagine that's under tools. Oh, placeables. Duh, it's right there. 
So five wooden sticks and five rocks. It's a campfire used to cook and scare the wild. Oh, I like that. It's going to keep the wild things at bay. Let's just put it right here on the beach. It seems nice. E place. E to interact. Build. Four minutes, which is really just seconds. <laughs> Objective has been complete. While cooking the meat, you can roam around and do other things. I like that. Cook the crab using the campfire. Double click to eat the meat. All right. There we go. This is the inside of our campfire. We can add wood. Let's throw a bunch of sticks on there. And then I guess we just drag and drop. Whoop. Pick it up. Pick it up. Drag it. Take meat. Drag the meat. Select an item. Oh, okay, so you click here and then put it on. You can't drag it on. I mean, it's an early access. Hopefully some of this stuff gets uh, worked out over time. Like, I'd rather see the drag and drop mechanic here rather than the add wood, take the charcoal, that sort of thing. The campfire can be upgraded with the right materials. We clearly do not have the right materials here. So we don't have to sit here and watch the meat, but now that we've been watching the meat, we might as well just continue watching the meat. <laughs> I don't know if it burns in this game. Cooking progress. Is it done? Hmm. I, it looks like it's done. There's a the tiny little gray slice at the end, but I think it's done. Oh, yeah, it's done. All right. Let's eat it. Double click to eat. Crunchy, crunchy. And now our proteins are up. Looks great. Is that raining? Oh, it's raining. Let's close that. You can get coconuts by hitting palm trees. You can rehydrate by drinking coconut water. Do we do we not get any um, coconuts from that last tree? Maybe it wasn't a palm tree. All right, let's whack this guy and try to get some, some coconuts. How do you miss a tree? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> so our stamina is running out. There's definitely coconuts up there. So we can grab more sticks for the fire. I don't know why I'm not dropping coconuts. Come on, hit harder. Something. There, there we go. One fell. I don't know if there's a trick to this or not, or it's just random. Whoa. Sheesh. Could have killed me. All right, well now we have cocoa nuts. Drinkable coconuts. Let's just grab all the sticks. We're going to need them, probably. You can drink the coconut water, but be careful. Drinking too much coconut water can make you sick. It's also a thing in uh, Stranded Deep. You can get the Hershey squirts, right? So it shows a little meter here how much um, hydration is in it. Let's let's just drink one. Thirst is up to 96. All right, that's great. Look for highlighted plants and cut them with your weapon. We're going to need a new weapon. Did I drop all my rocks? No, I used them in the fire, right? What is that? Oh, there's my stones. They're still there. Good. <laughs> I need three to make a new cutting tool. So let's do that right now. Look for highlighted plants and cut them. All right, let's go. Let's go do that. Do you see highlighted plants anywhere? Now, are the plants in the woods or are they on the beach? Let's go see if this is a highlighted plant. Oh, it looks highlighted. All right, let's stab it. There we go. Fibrous leaves. You can use your weapon to cut some plants. Gather one. Right. That's what we're doing. Let's try to stay close to our campfire. Go the other direction. I'm assuming all this stuff regenerates over time, all the sticks and rocks, I don't know. Or maybe we're going to have to um, move on to the boulders when the rocks run out. That's sort of similar to Stranded Deep. When you deplete the rocks on any given island, the, the pebbles, the, the, you know, the random ones on the ground, you have to, um, you have to make a pickaxe and get rocks from the big boulders. All right, so that's another, oh, let's kill this guy. Get him. Krabby Patty! Man, you really can't move very quickly when you're in combat mode. Come on, backstab! Got him! Loot him! Oh, it's a quick loot! Nice! Okay, shift click. Thankfully works. Super instant. And here's another plant. Last one. Yeah! Got him! Shanked him! Craft a rope. We can do that. Materials and rope. Sweet. So now I imagine we're going to craft a stone axe. Yes, we are. <laughs> it's as if I've played these types of games before. Almost as if. Craft it up. Oh, I need, I need another rock. I guess I can't do it yet. There's a rock. 
All right, now we can make our axe, which is going to be a better tool at chopping the stuff down, most likely. Which is right here, if I can get to it. Yeah. Put that down here in the second slot. Now we've got to gather palm fronds by cutting a palm tree with the axe. Use the stone axe to chop a palm tree and craft a basic shelter. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's go back toward the fire. Guess we can throw our Krabby Patty on the fire. Get that cooking while we're chopping down trees. I think I just saw... Did I just see a coconut fall off a tree? Or is that a bird? I guess that was just a bird. Now, I hear rain, but I don't see rain. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, if you look over here, you can see it. Yeah. Not sure how that affects me. Yeah, I don't see, like, a wetness meter or anything like that. Where's my campfire? There it is. Oh. Did I miss some scrap, or did that respawn? I don't know. But I'm picking it up. Now, will this burn in the rain, I wonder? Click here, select the item, and let it rip. Okay. Let's go chop it down a palm tree and get the, uh, get the palm fronds. Hans and Franz, come on down here. There he goes. Timber! Oh, oh we got wood logs, too. Very nice. All right, so far so good. Got the logs, got the palm fronds, got the coconuts. Let's go over here by the fire, warm up. Two palm fronds. We, we got them, so now we get to craft a basic shelter. Craft uh, placeable? Basic shelter, which is ten wooden sticks and two palm fronds. And that's going to be pretty basic, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, I like it. Let's put it right by the fire. We can rotate it with the R key all the way around. Face the fire almost sort of like that. Yeah. And we interact with it yet again. And then we build. Five seconds. Boom, done. Hey. Can only, wh what? Oh, hi. What's up, buddy? Are we, are we friends? What's he doing? Hold on, hold on. Enemy. Oh, said something about enemy. Defeat the aggressive enemy. Oh, he's not nice. All right, well. Oh, hey! hey. Oh, he, oh, wow. Oh, he's still swinging down there. He was back up. He was twitching. I thought he was dead or just having some trouble getting up, I guess. All right, well, we got him. That's one of the inmates. So it is sort of like, again, it's um, a cross between... Escape from New York, because we're on this island, all the inmates, and a little bit of Hunger Games to boot. And this guy had a bandage on him. Didn't seem to do him any good. And a food can. Awesome! Alright. Looking pretty good. He hardly did any damage because he didn't have a weapon. Anyway, getting back to the shelter, use the shelter to rest for the night. You can also save the game. Oh, that seems good. Yeah, I want to save the game. Let's save it. And we'll sleep. There we go. Oh, airdrops. Airdrops are random. They spawn every day between 7 and 17 hours. They may give you special loot. Is it happening? Oh, it's happening. I hear a plane. The plane, the plane. I hear it. I do not see it. And it's still raining. Which is kind of a bummer. Oh, there it is. Special loot. <gasps> Let's go get the special loot. It's not that far. 250 meters. Just keep your eyes open for random strangers in the woods. Wearing bright orange. Can I, um, chop that with the axe? Oh, yeah. Rabbit hole. Oh, looks like we're going to be able to maybe make traps and trap animals. That's cool. Oh, there he is right there. Can I just... No, I guess not. He's gone. Let's get to the loot. I don't want to lose sight of it. Now, my axe says right hand. Does that mean I can have a, a weapon in both hands? Oh, there's a, there's a guy there. Oh, get it quick before he gets it. Just want to make sure we have some stamina. You can stealth kill an enemy without being seen. Press E when behind him. Oh, he's not in the loot. Let's see if we can get in close and stealth him. He's just wandering around the loot. He's looking right at us. I mean, I could just run in and whack him with the axe. That's the other way to do it. <laughs> yeah, very much a Hunger Games sort of feeling here. This is like the cornucopia. Alright, this is taking way too long. 
I'm gonna try to get behind him. It's not gonna work. Yeah. All right. Oh. Hey, I thought I could block, but apparently I can't. Oh, he's down, but I don't think he's out. <laughs> I love him. Attempt to fight while he's down. Oh, he's tougher than the last guy. I have no stamina. Holy smokes, this guy's tough. Maybe I should have snuck up behind him. He was tougher than the other one by far. We better uh, use our bandage. Where's our bandage? Double click on the dirty bandage. And we get some health back. Up to 50. All right. Does this guy not have any loots? We had nothing on him. Well, it's okay, because we have the box here. Holy smokes, look at all this stuff. Nails, cloth, pills. A gun? Just happens to be a gun here. <laughs> With magazines. Perfect. All right, we'll grab it all. Inventory is full. Let's drop something. Well, that coconut doesn't seem to have anything in it. So let's drop that. Grab the lantern. It's going to be extremely helpful, I would imagine. Get back to your shelter. Start creating a base. To do that, craft a hammer so you can build a foundation and other base parts. All right. How are we doing on thirst? Why don't we drink a coconut? And let's put that gun in the hand here. What's happening? Do I hear a voice? Hold on. I think our base is going to get attacked, too, at some point. So we need to be prepared for that. Let's grab some more fiber on the way back. And we'll, I guess we'll get started on a base. I haven't seen any wild animals other than the rabbits. So I don't know if there's any, like, predatory animals here that we need to worry about. Other than the humans. Obviously the worst predatory animals. Look at another airdrop. Wow. That's fast. Let's get that gun out, by the way. Is it loaded? Nope. It is now. I got 15 rounds. And let's put that lantern on the hot bar. Can you do that? You can't. Lantern will provide light and definitely drop the lantern on the floor and press M to move it. Okay, so you just put it in the world. It looks like our food and our um, inventory is losing durability. Like, maybe it's going bad. Like, even a can of food was going bad. I want to shoot this bunny rabbit. He shows him. Oh, there he is! Missed! You know what? Save the ammo for the humans. Definitely should save the ammo for the humans. We'll find another way to kill a wabbit. Alright. Back at camp. And I think I'm just going to save it right quick here. Shelter only lasts for three in-game days. That's interesting. All right, so what are we doing now? We have to build up a base. Is that what it said? Oh, look, the scrap is back. So maybe <laughs> stuff does respawn. Yeah, we got three scrap. Got some pills here, which return health and, and cure sickness. Um, let's see if we can make a bandage for cloth. Yeah, let's make a new bandage. I'm going to save the pills in case we get sick. Now, do the bandages stack? Oh, they do. All right, I think we should make a few of those. I'm not sure what else the cloth is used for, but I'm just going to do this anyway. Because we need the health. And is our health coming back over time? I didn't happen to notice if it said that. We're at 70. That's only because we've used the bandages. Um, I'm assuming the health will return over time. Or when we sleep, maybe? I suppose we'll find out. How's the food going? Let's drop this on the ground. The uh, lantern. And that's providing light right now, I guess? Sure. Can't tell because it's daylight. But hopefully it will at night. Alright, we are back. It's a whole new day here in real life because I had a, a crash. The game crashed on me yesterday. And I lost a lot of progress. And I rage quit. But we're back. Brand new, uh, brand new location. I actually restarted all over from scratch because I lost a lot of progress and some items I had on the ground that apparently do not save. So let's um, let's build a chest. There is one in here. It's right here. A wood chest. Three logs, one nail. We get eight nails from the uh, from the airdrop, right? So we can go ahead and do that. And there's a bunch of stuff in here that we can make. In fact. But I think I want to get the shelter done first, and then we'll take a look at this as a workbench here that's going to give us some new crafting recipes, most likely. There's a loom. We can dry meats. we got a furnace here, plant bed, 
etc etc but let's make the bench uh the chest first so i don't lose gear again because that was kind of sad and we just plop that down walk up to it and build and once this is done we're going to make a hammer and then with the hammer we can start building our shelter all right let's secure some things over here we're going to drag and drop well we need the rope to make the hammer piece of plastic i got from the guy i killed at the loot crate this time around so i think the drops are random I'm not even sure I killed the last guy because I don't. Th I think he was unconscious, but not quite dead, <laughs> which is why I couldn't loot him. Let's drop that out. That'll provide some light tonight. You can actually pick this up and move it around, which is pretty cool. All right, fantastic. So now, now we get to build. Yay! Let's build a house. I'm gonna make a stone hammer first. Oh, we don't have any rocks. Holy smoke! There's one right there. Can I pick it up? So let me just collect all of the rocks we need. We'll make a hammer and we'll start chopping down trees and make a bit of a base and then go for a walk and see what else this game has in the world as far as NPCs. I know there's going to be um, other inmates out in the world in bases. I, I suppose they're going to build up bases and our base will be attacked. So we have to build up defenses and so forth so it should be uh should be interesting there's farming as well and in fact a roadmap just came out on the steam store page today with a list of things that will be coming down the pike for this game uh first person view combat improvements better ui management ability to create a raft and sail it more enemy camp and variety small dynamic islands that will spawn around the main island and contain unique resources vehicles ooh buggy motocross atv gyrocopter co-op multiplayer um crocodiles leopards sea life yeah all kinds of cool stuff coming down the pike so it sounds pretty good let's drop a coconut because i don't think we can make the hammer if we don't have a space available there we go all right now we do it. let's put the hammer in the old hands and let's get to building. I'm going to drop that rock. Put the plastic in the crate. Oh, what the heck? Somebody's here is punching me in the head. Oh, <laughs> wow. Silent, uh, silent but deadly creeper here. Holy smokes, he ran right up and punched me in the head. You don't even want to talk. We're not even going to talk about it. All right, fine. Whoa. Jeez. Nice flurry of blows there, buddy. But there you go. See, I have an axe. You really should prepare yourself for this kind of thing. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Well, think about it. Oh, he's still swinging. Whoa. <laughs> Took his legs out. See, right now he's incapacitated, but he's not dead. I can't loot him. But watch this. Yeah, now I can. Just finish him. Oh, he had a piece of corn. He had an ear of corn on him. Where did he get the corn? Ooh. I want some corn. Let's eat it. Fat's 15 and carbs 15. Yeah, we need that. And will we get a seed? We got a seed. We got corn seeds. We can grow corn. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Let me just save it here quick. I don't want to lose his progress. And it looks like it's getting late. But I'm going to start chopping down some trees. And then um, we'll have a bunch of wood and be ready for building in the morning. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Seems like we're just going to be attacked now every so often. Ugh. Ah, nom, 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 nom. Good morning and welcome back to paradise. Ooh, special loot. 1,320 meters over there. Wow, that seems far. We're not going to go after that right now. I want to get this shelter made up. So let's, uh, we got to eat. Holy smokes. Look at all the proteins, carbs, fats, everything's so low. Let's go ahead and eat our can of food here. Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, ooh, we got an empty can back. All right, well, let's put that in the crate. I wish shift click worked here, but it doesn't. It's going to drag and drop. Um, okay, let's get the hammer out and let's start building. So we go to inventory for this. We go to craft and we do foundation. So this is the start of any building foundation to build a wooden house. Let's go ahead and craft it and we can spin this around. There's a little stair on it and that looks good. All right, we walk up and we hammer it. We hammer it. How do we hammer it? <laughs> There we go. You have to look at the icon in the world and build. All right, there we go. The building, building the foundation will enable more building options. Yeah, so now we can just walk up and then look at the icon, look at the icon and then decide what to craft. And in this case, we can craft a wooden floor to expand the foundation. Let's do it and build. Good thing we got those nails. 
All right, so there we go. So we have a basic foundation and we can slap up some walls and a roof and all that fun stuff. So let's, uh, let's see how much wood do we have? Not much, not enough to do anything else. So, um, well, I guess I'll work a little bit on the base. We'll get some basic structure down and then we'll go out and maybe try to get to that other loot crate out there. Seems pretty far, but might have some goodies in it. We'll see what else this world has to offer. There are supposed to be um, other inmates out in the world and bases, and I'd like to see that. Oh, there's two special loops. There's one over there, only about a thousand meters away, and then one over here, 1,300. I wonder how long they stick around and whether or not the other inmates go after them <laughs> take them. By the way, we can, we can chop coconuts. I mean, we should probably drink them first, but... We can eat them just like you can in Stranded Deep, right? They have five carbs, ten fats, five vitamins, but fifteen sickness, but that's okay. As long as we're not too sick, we should be all right. We can just pop some pills back if we need to. There we go. We have, what, one nail left? One nail left, three more wood, and that's all she wrote. Dang it. All right, how about a wall right here by the door? It's going to be a windowed wall. Build it! What the heck was that all about? Oh, my hammer! My hammer broke. Oh, drat. All right, let me whip up a quick hammer here. Going to need a few stones and some more rope. All right, got a new hammer. Let's finish the job. Build! Oh, that was it. One more hit. <laughs> all right. Now it's time to go to bed. All right, it's morning. Just cooked up a Krabby Patty because our proteins are super low. Let's see how that does. Up to 31. Fantastic. We're at 49 sickness right now. So I don't want to eat or drink any more coconuts. Let's just head over to this special loot over here. See what we got. How's our inventory? Oh, we're good. We have medication and band-aids just in case we run into any any opposition out here we should probably scan they do uh they do seem to sneak up on you don't they medicine plant oh we've got a medicine plant this plant can be used to create sickness antidote can we just eat it as is we can't eat it just as is but we can make an antidote medicine plant and raw mushroom all right well, keep your eyes open for mushrooms oh i see a, i see a boar we got bacon bacon on this island piggy wiggy should we shoot him I don't want to waste my ammo, but I bet he's got a lot of good tasty meats. He doesn't seem like he cares too much about us. I'm going to shoot him in the head. Can we kill him one shot? No. Oh no, here he comes. Two shots. Make him count. Make him count. Twelve rounds left. I really want to save the ammo for humans. Oh, look at all the stuff on this guy, though. Two meats, animal skull. Can be used for crafting material. Bones can be used for crafting, and skins can be turned into cloth on the loom. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Cool. Ooh, what's this? Is that a rock? It's a potato. We got raw potato. Raw potatoes will increase your vitals. Can be boiled in a campfire. Boiled. Hmm. That suggests we're gonna need some kind of a pot or something, right? Ooh, enemy camp. We got an enemy camp spotted. Is there a map in this game? M does not bring up a map. I'm not sure if that's by design or what. Maybe we have to find a map. Maybe we have to craft a map. Don't really know. Okay, we're almost there. And that looks different. Oh, it's a corn plant. Did we get corn? Yes, we did. Let's eat it. 15 carbs, 15 fats. And we'll get a seed, right? Hopefully. Yeah. Can plant the corn seed in a plant bed. That's something we should do relatively soon. So we have a renewable source of food, right? All right, 50 meters. We're getting super close. It's probably guarded. For some reason, the inmates just circle it and never actually go in and get the loot. <laughs> Why wouldn't anyone else come over here for this? Maybe that's just not programmed yet. The uh, change log notes, or at least the roadmap, does indicate that there will be AI improvements. Oh, they did come and get it. My bad. They came and took it, and it's gone. It's all gone. It came out here for nothing. Dang it. Let's go to the enemy camp. I'm not going to let them get away with this. Oh, mushrooms. We can make the medicine. Oh, we need one more. Okay, one more to cure sickness. 
Well, I got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is a... It looks like a, a hurricane just rolled in. <laughs> Whoa, shoot! There's somebody behind me. Oh, you want that watermelon, don't you, buddy? I'm gonna save my ammo for the base. Maybe we can take this guy out. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, he's hitting me. Come on. Gotta knock him down. Once we knock him down, we got him. Oh, don't hit the tree. Hit him! There we go. He's down. Once he's down, he's mine. All right, have some loot on you, dang it. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not good. Do we have, um... Let's do a bandage. All right, let's check out the watermelon. This is what I meant to show you before we were interrupted. Break a watermelon into two pieces. Oh, we have to drop it first and then chop it. All right. Now we can eat it. Oh, look at that. Water 15. And vitamins. Mm-mm-mm. Eat them both. Okay. And we got watermelon seeds. Great. Now, let's get over to that base, the enemy camp, which is right over here. What is that? Stone. All right, let's get our gun out. Where's my gun at? 60 meters. We're getting super close now. Oh, there's a guy. I'd like to do a... Um, a stealth kill? Let's see if we can stealth kill this guy. Is he all alone? Oh, no, there's two guys. Oh, shoot. They see us. Okay, kill him. Dang it. <laughs> this guy's got a gun. I hope he has ammo. All right, six rounds left. How come these guys team up like that? Can of food, yes, and an animal skin. Awesome. And hey, what did you get? Oh, he's still alive. Finish him. I'll let him up. Pack of nails and a cuke. He's got a cuke. Guy had a cucumber. Ooh, 15 vitamins. We don't really need the vitamins. All right, let's go check out the camp. Maybe there's some ammunition in here. That'd be fantastic. Food can. It does not stack, unfortunately. We're just going to eat one. Because it's, like it's like a multivitamin. It fills up everything. <laughs> All right, well, that's a camp, I guess. Oh, we can cook right here. On the enemy's camp. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, the enemy fires never go out. Look at that. Now, can I use their shelter? I cannot use their shelter. That is a shame. But what I think I might do, because it's going to be a long way back. Where's the medicine plant? Is set up a um, my own lean-to right here and save it. Hopefully I can do that. Uh, that's actually not a palm tree. All right, I need a palm tree. I need the palm fronds. There they are down there. Holy smokes, what is going on? Everything's so psychedelic. Was it something I ate? Ew. Maybe that was some bad bacon. All right, let's go ahead and make the uh, the shelter. I hope we can put it right here. Let's find out. Right next to the enemy's camp. <laughs> Place and build. Interact. I just want to save it. All I want to do... All right, let's interact and save. Okay, I feel better now. All right, I think what we're gonna do is call it quits right here for now, folks. And we shall continue in the next episode if you wanna see more. I feel like I do. Um, and if you do, then leave a like in the video, leave a comment, and we shall, uh, we shall pick up right where we left off. All right, grab that meat. Doesn't stack, which is sad. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll make the run back to our camp next time. I'm going to save it again. And that's it for now. So, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Once again, this is Inmate Survival. Link down below. Check it out if you like what you see here. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.